We gotta get this trench done. Earthbag, chicken coop, garden. Day five. Nope. It's day six. Get it right. Today, we are continuing to level out the outside trench using the laser level. Yeah, and shovels, because we don't have a tractor. I'm going to remind you of that all the time. I know you are. <laughs> anyway, today we're continuing doing our trench work. That's it. Guys, mm, nothing I'm complicated. sorry it's not super exciting right now. Just wait. The bags are coming. Got to do that prep work first. Yeah, so much prep work. I always forget about how much there is. It's ridiculous. Anyway, That's okay. No complaints. Okay, ready to go. This is Kelly, our biggest chicken. He's one of our two roosters, and nobody really likes him. Oh. He's scary though, <laughs> like, look at the stare. <laughs> His feet are huge. Yeah. He's, oh my gosh. He's creepy. We're almost done. We go from about where that wheelbarrow is over to where Ashley is. That's all we have left to fix. It's a wheelbarrow. No, it's not.
Welcome back to another Mason Jar Monday. Today we have an empty ball jar and we're gonna fill it up. Today I'm showing Jonathan how to make chai concentrate because he has a serious chai problem. I do not. He does. Every Maybe. day. <laughs> Maybe. So I've tried several different chai recipes and this one is by far the best chai recipe I've ever had. Yeah and if we don't have to buy chai concentrate at the store that's a good thing. Yeah. So, so we just buy all the ingredients and make it ourselves. So let's let's fill up this mason jar. Yeah. Yeah. First step is to boil one gallon of water. So we've already done that. So take the lid off and we're going to add all of our ingredients. All right, let's do it. We have four cinnamon sticks. Okay. Just throw them in. Uh-huh. All right. You can just put them in all at the same time if you want. So we have 10 cloves and 20 peppercorns, but I do add a few more peppercorns because I like that kick in the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. All right. A third cup of cardamom pods. Which are hard to find out here. Very hard to find. In the middle of nowhere. And then we have two thirds cups of chopped ginger, fresh ginger. Oh, okay. That's the key. Fresh That's ginger. Key. All right. And a dash of salt. Don't put all that in, just like do a pinch of salt. I don't know what a dash is, but a we're going to go with that. Okay. You can do a little more. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> of course. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back to a boil. Okay. We're going to stir it. Mm hmm. And then we're just going to let it simmer for a whole hour. What about the tea? It comes later. Oh, okay. So. Black tea is also involved, but we'll get to that later, she says. So simmering for an hour, and we'll be right back. Okay, now that our mix has been simmering for a whole hour, we're going to open it up. I wish that you could smell what I smell. It's amazing. So now that this is simmered, we're going to add our sugar and dissolve that. Now this looks like a lot of sugar. You can try the recipe and do a little less if you want. You can also use maple syrup or honey. I have not tried it with those, but I'm sure it will be good. All right, now that the sugar is dissolved, we're gonna turn our temperature off and we're gonna add our tea bags. And yes, this is a lot of tea. The recipe calls for loose leaf tea, but I cannot find that out here. So this is what we're using. So we're gonna just let that sit for five minutes and then come back. So as you can see, this recipe does make a whole gallon of chai concentrate. When you do use the chai concentrate, it's a one to three ratio or one to four, depending on how much you like chai. So we're gonna let this cool down and then we'll be back and make an iced chai latte later. Okay, it's time to make a nice chai. So first you need ice and generous helping of ice. Now usually we have goat milk from our goats, but they're drying up right now because babies are on the way. So this is just regular, regular whole milk. And we also like to add a little coffee. So we cold brew this coffee from Talking Irons, our favorite coffee shop down the road. Just a little bit. 
And then, that is a big jar of chai concentrate. Holy moly. All right, so then we just add this to taste and then we mix it up. I'm just not sure how much to put in. Let's see. That's pretty close. Maybe just a little bit more. Let's see who says you have to rough it out in the desert off grid. You can have iced chai in the afternoon. Now, this was not my recipe. It is Kate's from Venison for Dinner, and the link to her recipe is in the description below. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Fall for the content! For the content! <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> for the content! Jet! Hey Jet! Do it for the content! <laughs> To give you an idea of the difference in elevation between this side and that side. It's pretty deep over here. Then it gets shallower. Very shallow. And then it doesn't really start going back down again until all the way over here. day five. Seriously, it's day six. The outer trench is done. It's level. It's level all around other than the buttresses, but we don't count that. Why not? Because I like coming up. I like doing one complete bag and then the buttress, and then the comes, buttress over comes too. And then, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So anyway, tomorrow, does that mean we get to start on the inner circle? Yep. Yep. We get mm -hmm. to Remeasure the inside and then get our the actual like coop part measured out. Let's try not to go down so deep Why? I don't know. I just want to do that much. I just think it should be the same as the outer hmm. I don't know. We'll maybe, see. Maybe maybe not. We'll, we'll make see. that decision tomorrow when we'll see you then. there <laughs> There's a wind and it's blowing there's a current that's running deep I can't see but I know it That something's not what it's meant to be Hearing brother against brother now Anger grows on divided ground Sometimes I think that I lost the sound Of the calm inside of me I wanna see love